her clothes, layer by layer, are creating a specific shape. She's wearing a corset, which is kind of giving her this like nipped in shape. And then she's wearing something called a farthingale, which is giving that, that shape that you see, you know, where her big skirts come out, that it's kind of like a little thing that gives a, a frame underneath her skirts. And then she has her sort of layers of splendorous stuff. It's like armor. So she's kind of wearing, a, you know, this highly splendiferous, fashionable armour. I mean, I think in other portraits of her, that sense of um, armour is even more defined, that sometimes, you know, you, you sort of almost see the patterns like armour. So I think that's, that's part of the construction. On the subject of clothing, a group of students at the Glasgow School of Art have been studying fashion and looking into how clothing design can help to create an armour and a persona. Across her dress, she's got these sun in splendours and stars. And so there's this sense that she is a kind of cosmic person. She's also got this extraordinary lace ruff around her neck. People might see it like a halo that you would see in a religious painting, that you sort of see this circle around her face. There's also, if you just move a little bit around the painting, she's also got this extraordinary ostrich fan um, and that and that's, is a symbol of luxury but the fan also is a symbol of the Prince of Wales and so by having the feathered fan and then the crown, the sovereign crown is, is, it, is her image as queen. She is kind of both prince and queen so there's something where she's kind of pushing beyond her gender binaries in that. She's constructing an image of just saying, this is how it is. Let's just stop thinking about gender. I think probably the most obvious person to kind of draw on in, in, in thinking in those terms is perhaps someone like Angela Merkel, who, rather than ostentatiously dressing, tends to kind of just sort of wear a suit in one colour, as if she's saying, OK, I don't want to talk about you know, my gender's not relevant here, I'm running a country, I'm, I'm here as a political figure. And there's something a little bit like that going on where it's sort of like, let's keep with what the job is. Something that's all over the Queen are pearls. She's covered them. She's got them in her hair, she's got them all over her clothes, she's got them hanging around her neck. She's got this very particular pearl that's sort of right over her private parts. And that is quite deliberate because pearls are a symbol of virginity.